Welcome to the Market Samurai Tutorials. My name is Tyrone Shum and inside this tutorial I'd like to share with you how to find alternative keywords. Now you might be wondering what is alternative keywords and why do you need them? Alright, before we jump into Market Samurai, I'm going to share with you what to do, what this all means. Let's say firstly, when we first started out, if you haven't had a look at my first tutorial which I described to you how to find profitable keywords, watch that video first. Inside there, I talk about looking for profitable keywords. And once you've found those profitable keywords, you've got yourself what we call the main keyword. And the main keyword is crucial. That is basically what you're going to be focusing on. And that main keyword will be something that you'll optimize for and you'll create your website around and you'll create all your topics around and so forth. But once you've actually created that main keyword, what do you need in order to be able to establish subcategories or topics? And I'll give you an example. Let's say for example, if I hop into the three-day detox, you'll notice on my site there's three-day detox, which is the main category. Then you've got subcategories such as body cleansing detox, colon cleansing detox, diet detox, recipes, liver detox, diets, etc. So those are what we call subcategories. And the reason why these are important is because if you can rank well for these as well too, you can actually pretty much dominate most parts of the search engine. So I'm just going to draw for you what these are and these are what we call alternative keywords. Okay, I'm just going to write alternative keywords here but I'm going to use AK just as a short, okay, as a short acronym. And basically what happens is that once you've got that main keyword, as I've discussed, it's the three-day detox. Once you've got that in place, then you have all these subcategories, all these uh, pretty much not so strong keywords that you can actually rank for. And these are what we can also call as long tail keywords and also two derivative keywords. And the reason why these are important is because people do search for these. So they may not just search, for example, three-day detox. They may search for three-day detox diet plans. Or they may search for three-day detox drinking uh, plans. All those kind of things. And if you can cover those aspects, you can basically rank for those smaller keywords. And that allows you to actually push up your main keyword up high into the search engine. Same thing as derivative keywords. Three-day detox might not be just the main keyword. You might be looking at health detox plans. That's nothing related to three-day detox, but it actually is just another word that is for detox. So health detox or health plans or diet plans, all those kind of things. And those are what we call derivative keywords. All right, so that should give you a good indication of why we need to do this. Now, how to do it? I'm going to jump straight into Market Samurai. Okay, so basically what you want to do is jump over to where it says Keyword Research in Market Samurai and just make sure that you've selected for your main keyword, which is 3-Day Detox in this example. And you want to just generate the keywords again. Once will happen, what will happen is that you'll get a whole list of keywords that are suitable and related to 3-Day Detox. And as you can see here, there's an example here that's called Fruit Detox, Lemonade Cleanse. See, like those things are not three-day detox exact word for word, but they are related to the whole uh, keyword. And you can go through and remove the positive, or sorry, add positive keywords that you want, or remove po negative keywords. And I've gone through that in quite a lot of detail inside how to find profitable keywords, which is one of the first tutorials. So if you don't know about this and don't know how this works, jump and watch that first tutorial first. Okay, so once you've done that, click on Analyze Keywords. And what will happen is that it will generate a nice little graph here or tables and show you exactly which potential uh, keywords that are available or alternative keywords that are available under listed three-day detox. Now what will happen is that you want to run through the same searches again. You want to go through and check to make sure that you have a minimum of 80 people searching through per day and a minimum of a 15% phrase to broad match ratio and also a maximum of 30,000 in competition as well. I've already actually clicked on Analyze Keywords, but what you've got to do is click on Analyze Keywords right here, and what will happen is it will populate all these tables, and also populate and give you all the necessary information. And based on all those results, you can actually take away these keywords and put them onto your website and use them as basically your subcategories for your main categories. 
So that's basically how you find alternative keywords. And as you can see, I've already done that with the 3D Detox and a lot of these keywords are already embedded inside our website. And if somebody searches for these, they should be able to also find these and we can also rank very, very well for them as well. The other thing I just thought I'd mention as well, you'll notice that with these kind of keywords, these related keywords, they've actually got a very high dollar amount. So it can, can be possible for you to actually make money from these keywords as well too, okay? All right, so that's pretty much on how to find alternative keywords and to help you create with your categories and subcategories for your website. And it's crucial that you do do this step because it does help you allow to write more topics and also more content for your website, which helps you to rank your main keywords. All right, my name is Tyrone Shum. Thank you very much for watching Market Samurai Tutorials. If you'd like to find out more about what we have and also other tutorials as well, which are all free, you can go to marketsamuraitutorials.com. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you inside the next tutorial. Bye for now.